Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome back to our channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that the video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is fantastic and maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from. The county or the country in case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin the video by offering my apology. I know yesterday I did not produce any video. And indeed, this past week, I've been a bit slow because I was addressing some personal matters. But hopefully by Monday, they should be over and we'll be back to normal. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who've been following this channel very closely, one year ago, I did a video here. And I'm going to share the link below. In that video, I predicted that Cleophas Malala's days in UDA party were actually numbered. By that time, none other than was in issues women rep, Gladys Sholei, had accused Clofas Malala of destroying UDA party. Gladys Sholei is a close ally of William Samuel Raputo. There was no way Gladys Sholei was going to make such kind of a statement without the approval of William Samuel Raputo. Actually, it was a coded message to Cleophas Malala to change the trajectory he was taking. But it seems Cleophas Malala did not read the signs on the wall. As a matter of fact, nobody expected Cleophas Malala to rise to the position of the Secretary General of UD Party. Because one day, William Ruto just woke up and announced Clofas Malala as the Secretary General of UDA Party. And I remember explaining to you guys the reason why William Ruto appointed Clofas Malala as the Secretary General of UDA Party. Number one, William Ruto wanted to take control of UDA Party. Remember, UDA had just won elections. Rigathi Gashago was the Deputy President. Mondo Kenya had given William Ruto the highest number of votes. But Ruto, as much as he was the party leader, never trusted those who were in leadership. He could not really control them. So he decided to send uh, the former Secretary General Johnson Mobama to you to some appointment there. And from nowhere, Malala was appointed as the Secretary General. He wanted to take control of the party using Malala. And the other thing he wanted to do is that he wanted to shift UDA party from the mountain, which was the stronghold, to Western Kenya. As a matter of fact, strategically trying to hand over UDA party to Muslim Davadi. Because at that time, talks of uh, William Ruto dumping Rigadi Gachagua had actually started emerging. And of course, William Ruto also just wanted to create confusion in UDA party. So the other day when I saw a coup happening in UDA party, I knew that Malala's days were no longer days. They were just a matter of hours for him to be officially kicked out of UDA party. So in this video, I want to explain to you guys why William Ruto decided to fire or to kick out Clofas Malala as the Secretary General of UDA party. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. And by the way, look at Kawaje, because I'm going for some... Uh, funeral somewhere and someone might mistake me to be you dear Ama. <laughs> let us dive in let us dive in let me take you to some post here and the moment i saw that post i knew malala was on his way out the post was done by none other than johnson mudama who is the former chairman of uda party this is what mudama posted what is happening in uda Veronica Minor and I left a vibrant and peaceful party in the hands of Cecile Barire and Clofas Malala. 
as party stalwarts, we expected everyone to adhere to the peaceful and cohesive leadership of our party leader. Please, let us avoid engaging in activities that could harm our party. The moment I read that, I knew Clefas was on his way out. So yesterday, UDA party decided to issue a statement. Let me just get you that statement. UDA party, through their official Twitter handle, made this post. Press release, the National Executive Committee was convened today through the request of the members of the committee to discuss, deliberate, and agree on the way forward based on the events of the last few days in the party and fundamentally the events of the last few weeks in our country. We have noted the progressive continuation of our grassroots elections in the first phase and we have directed that the National Elections Board to make necessary adjustments and continue with the elections in the rest of the counties as earlier communicated. These elections will ultimately offer the members of the party an opportunity to choose their leaders from the polling stations all the way to the national level. As the National Executive Committee, the constitution of the party mandates us to provide policies and political guidance to our party. Over the time, we must continually realign our policies and political guidance with the broader national political landscape and our collective aspirations. As the governing and policy-making organ of the party, the NEC plays a essential role in driving the party's, the political agenda of the party. Resultantly, the party will be implementing a raft of governing and administrative measures to accelerate its agenda and to set forth a distinctive path of inclusion, of inclusive, participative, and consultative organization. And uh, the statement ends. In the meantime, upon wide and consultative deliberations and in compliance and accordance with its mandate under Article 8.2 of the Party Constitution, the National Executive Committee has determined, has determined to designate the Vice Chairperson Honorable Hassan Omar to act as the Secretary General on interim basis. The appointment of Clofas Malala as the interim Secretary General is hereby revoked. These changes are effective immediately. Immediately. So the question is, why would William Ruto kick out Clofas Malala that fast? The truth is, easy come, easy go. So I want to give you the reasons why Ruto decided to kick out Clofas Malala. But allow me also, before I do that, to introduce you guys to Lemfi. Lemfi is a mobile money app for users in the US, Canada, and the United States of America to send money to Kenya. They offer the best exchange rates and the money will be delivered instantly into your m account, Airtel Money account, and of course, if you want, directly into your, into your bank account. You can use the link in the pinned comment to download the app. Ladies and gentlemen, let us dive in. Why do you think William Ruto decided to kick Malala out. Number one, Rigadi Gashagwa's allies are being kicked out of UDA party. That is the honest truth. Clofas Malala was brought on board by William Ruto. But it seems Clofas Malala did not understand the objectives why he was appointed. So he failed to read that William Ruto wanted to do away with Rigadi Gashagwa. At some point, Clofas Malala then started working very closely with Rigadi Gashagwa. That's why he has been kicked out. Number two is the 2027 politics. You know, politics is a dy dynamic game. It keeps on changing every single day. Malala is no longer serving that interest. Malala was brought on board because William Ruto was really desperate. He wanted to deal with Rigadi Gashagwa. You know, he wanted to create a party which appears to be national. He wanted to conduct party elections, but Malala really messed up things. So, Ruth has realized that maybe 2027 is more important than 2032 because Malala was brought on board for 2032. 
tulinebo mudavadi to move forward but who is currently not even sure of 2027 so he has to fix the 2027 politics and that's why he's bringing Hassan Omar a stable hand who can try and hold UDA together Thomas Malala was just something else I think when he was appointed he thought and believed that he was now so powerful than any other person Number three, Malala has also been kicked out because of the UDA elections. William Ruto conducted, UDA party conducted some elections. Homa Bay, Nairobi. Yeah. But it was very clear that in Nairobi, for example, allies of Rigadi Gashago are winning. Why? When the Secretary General of the party is Malala. He actually missed those elections because there are even people who are elected, people who died three years ago. They were elected as, as party officials. It embarrassed the party. And remember, William Ruto is also keen on the UDA elections. He wants Didi Nyoro as the Secretary General because of the politics of the mountain. So Malala did not really help William Ruto pursue the objectives of the party elections. Number four, the original members. You know, I was wondering when. Uhuru Kenyatta was bringing Raila Odinga as his preferred candidate. William Ruto used to claim that even if Uhuru doesn't want me, why should he go to ODM and pick someone else? That is the exact thing he did in UDA party. There were so many UDA party members who were qualified. Then William Ruto decided, let me go to ANC party and bring Malala. Do you think the founding members, people who stood with the party, because Malala did not. Malala only came on board towards the tail end. Those people who stood with the party, who fought Uhuru Kenyatta, how do you think they were feeling? They were not comfortable. So, these are the people, people like uh, now, people like now, Mudama, who said, no, enough is enough. You have to go. <laughs> and of course, last, the number five is also the fact that Malala also had his own mistakes. He failed to understand one fact. That political parties are owned. ODM is Raila Odinga's political party. UDA is William Ruto's political party. Ford Kenya is Speaker Moses Watangula's party. Those are facts. When Walala was appointed, he made some appointments to the party secretariat. He brought all his friends there. He was noted. I'm told even uh, misuse of funds is emerging that he was really misusing UDA funds. So he, he became enemy of everybody and anybody in the party. I don't know what you think. But for me, Cleofas Malala's removal from the party has not surprised me at all. I expected it. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.